cradle cap or seborrheic dermatitis we still are not sure about the reason it's a overreaction of the sebaceous glands and whether it's a possible inflammatory response to the fungus malassezia furfur is one of the underlying reasons why we sometimes use ketoconazole to treat it it's uh, characterized by erdema as well as greasy scales it's most common in the scalp and the forehead as well as the eyebrows other affected areas may include the face ears and neck erdema tends to predominate in the flexural folds and the intertrigenous areas scaling predominates on the scalp so this is how the cradle cap looks like so you get flaking scaling and uh, seborrheic dermatitis uh, can mimic atopic dermatitis as well same areas of the cheeks and the face are affected and it looks red but here the uh, shiny uh, papules tend to differentiate it looks less dry but more shiny and uh, using moisturizer in excess may not be uh, advisable in seborrheic dermatitis unlike in atopic dermatitis so it's important to differentiate uh, sometimes these lesions may scale and break uh, the idea of treatment is to soften this up and gently comb it off if you uh, leave it uh, and the flakes separate with infection in the bottom you may see redness spreading and sometimes you may need anti-inflammatory like steroids to treat it so conservative and stepwise approach to treatment is warranted we begin with reassurance and watchful waiting the scales can often be removed with a soft brush after you shampoo an emollient like soft uh, white petrolatum may help to soften the scales uh, vegetable oil like olive oil has an effect on seborrheic dermatitis and soaking the scalp overnight and then shampooing may help as well this can be done over the other involved areas like the eyebrows as well obviously without affecting the eyes there are specific products like the mustella stilaker uh, which is applied overnight and washed off with the shampoo the next day this can be repeated over three to five day period and if it persists despite a period of watchful waiting and conservative treatment as i discussed several other treatment options exist including steroids so uh, white petrolatum applying daily may soften the scales and may facilitate removal with a soft brush tar containing shampoos can be used when uh, baby shampoo has failed it's safe but can be irritating ketoconazole is considered because of the role of malassezia furfur it comes as a cream uh, or a shampoo and uh, used three times weekly there is no systemic drug levels but it is a medicated shampoo so we avoid it unless it's a severe case and maybe better to leave it to the dermatologist to use it hydrocortisone 1% cream as well as uh, co-application with fusidine may be considered where there is inflammation and uh, areas of redness is spreading limit the area used it does show a good response to it but don't use it unless it is needed